Stores start to close around the country following Black Friday. Other stores are already preparing for another round of shoppers. News 3's Tiffany Lane joins us live downtown from Container Park, where shop owners are getting ready for Small Business Saturday. Such an important weekend. Yes, and you know what? People are not putting away those credit cards just yet or those coats. It's going to be pretty cold out here, as you can see right now. But several people tell me that they want to give back to the community and support local businesses like the ones here at Container Park. Stores have been busy the last few days. You guys out here for the holidays? Yeah. For some shops, the bigger rush of customers is expected tomorrow for Small Business Saturday. You're supporting your neighbors in the community. Um, these small businesses are owned by people that you know, um, and they employ local employees. And the more we frequent our small businesses, the more that we really support our local economy. Andre Thomas, who owns a clothing store at downtown Container Park, says his store is ready to go for the big day. We ordered a surplus of goods. Uh, we had a lot of new items made up just to prepare for this. He says small businesses like his own depend on consumers. Because most of us uh, here, we're these startups or we're just in that stage, like I said, where we're small business. So we're not a corporate giant where we have, you know, multi-millions to spend on marketing. And like Thomas, Beth, Tom, and her husband, who own a home and Christmas decor store, have also seen significant growth since they started out. So we went from a 4,500 square foot store to almost 18,000. And that this has been two years. Tom says that success is because of support from loyal customers who have been shopping there for years. We just are proud and happy when people come out and spend their money um, locally and, and shop local and get off the internet for a few minutes and, uh, and meet their neighbors. It's a great way to get out. And as I mentioned, there will be several places participating in Small Business Saturday. This location, for example, will be closing in just a few hours because it will open up again bright and early tomorrow and they're expecting it will be another busy day. Reporting live, I'm Tiffany Lane for News 3.